Hello everyone and welcome back to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Today we're going to be working on a mirror effect or an advanced reflection effect uh, depending on how you want to look at it. We did a mirror effect before but this one will be a little more advanced uh, and I'll show you how to also tackle the obstacle of a angled mirroring of an object. So let's get right into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is with our whatever it is object that you have selected just duplicate that layer. Simple way of doing that is hitting Control and J at the same time. Next we're going to flip that object so go to edit transform and flip vertical and you'll notice that it flips for you right there on the screen grabbing your move tool holding shift we're gonna drag that down just below our original layer and I'm gonna move it up and nudge it up a tad a little more there so it connects corner to corner okay so you see that the corner to corner are connected however we do still have these gaps because the angle is wrong uh, and an easy way to get rid of that is simple it's simple just we're going to grab our marquee tool okay make sure it's the rectangle marquee highlight just the front of the box in this case okay so now my marquee is highlighting that box right there um, just the front face of it so now what we want to do is we want to grab a little more below what our selection is because the canvas stops our selection so let's go to select transform selection holding shift drag down that marquee to just below your canvas and then go ahead and just hit the check next thing we're going to do is grab our move tool again make sure you have layer one or your copy layer one copy selected okay and we're just going to grab this the, the the box on the right right in the middle of our marquee holding control which is our skew and shift which keeps it um, adjacent to what we were working on we're just going to drag that box up until it meets the box above okay and then we're just going to hit the check mark and control and D to get rid of our marquee and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so again grab your marquee tool draw out your marquee so that it touches the front face in this case um, grab your selection transform selection drag it down below the canvas this is just so that we don't get a, a larger gap underneath and we're not missing parts of the reflection hit check mark grab your move tool hold control and shift drag upwards until it meets the original like so hit the check mark again control and D and you have your proper angled box underneath now we're going to do the reflection effect and we've done this before so I'm just gonna do it real quickly with your layer one selected go ahead and create or sorry with your layer one selected go ahead and create a layer mask grab your gradient tool make sure you have black to white selected hit OK just below your your uh, box there just holding shift draw a nice little um, line upwards and you'll notice that right away we get rid of some of the marquee or some of the box underneath and it also su sets up a nice little reflection for us however we're going to take it a step further today we're going to hit control and select first layer again so that our marquee comes up around that box we're gonna hit new layer and then we're gonna go back to the marquee and we're just gonna select the front portion of it again okay just like so so now I just have that front selection created now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cre uh, click my gradient tool from black to transparent okay and then and then I'm gonna find an angle so that it looks like for example if I just bring it straight down it's on a straight angle we don't want that we want an angle Oops, let me just back out of that we want an angle just a tad so that it, it, it matches the box above it might be take a little time to figure it out but you will get it there we go that looks pretty good hitting control D to get rid of that marquee we're gonna do the same thing for the for the the left side here so again hold control select your layer grab your marquee tool and then select the portion you want okay hitting a new layer we're gonna grab our gradient again it's already selected black to transparent for us and we're just gonna find that angle again and that looks pretty good hit control D and it might be a little too dark in this case for me it's a little too dark so I'm going to each layer that I just created I'm going to turn down the opacity and I'm just gonna turn it down to 70 for the left side and we'll make it both uh, for a 70 and again what I'm going to do just add to a little more to the reflection effect is grab our reflection box layer and also turn that opacity down 
Okay, and that's it. And now you can see how you can you can recreate a reflection on an angled product or angled box. Um, and hopefully that helps you out in the future. Just make sure you rate, uh, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll be sure to uh, keep giving you guys some videos.